Hey guys, we're back with another video and today we're gonna to be reviewing um, a splat ball gun that I got from splatterball.com. Uh, it's got a 1200 round mag and we'll go through the features when I get upstairs. Before we get into this video, I just wanna say thank you to Mason Freiberger for giving me this video idea. There he was, and now that you saw that beast, it's time to get into this beast of a gun. All right guys, first and foremost, I just wanna say thank you for all the support of the last video. A lot of you guys texted me on Snapchat or talked to me at school and said the video was great, uh, which is great to hear even if it's sarcastic or not. Um, uh, we did get a decent amount of views, like 300 maybe, I don't know what it was, but um, yeah, I just wanna say thank you guys. But today, we'll be reviewing the Splatterball gun from splatterball.com and here it is. This thing's a beast, the 1200 round mag and then the back stock, which is detachable. Uh, this thing can really do some damage. Next guys, we're just gonna go through the base of the gun and to start things off, we got the mag right here. It attaches very easily, just push that button in and the mag pops right, right back out and it holds 1200. 1200 splat balls. All you have to do is turn this thing counterclockwise and that's where you load all the splat balls. And you just wanna make sure they're dry before you load them because that might have, that might cause some damage to the gun and it might not shoot as well. Um, yeah, which could be an issue. And then next you got the back stack. All you do is push this button right here and it pops right off you, uh, very easy. Slides right back in. Uh, there's a click right here, it melts back in. And then the battery also. All you do is slide this thing down right here, and there's the battery right there. Uh, very, very easy. This gun's very accessible to get to, and uh, it's a very nice design. Then we're gonna go through the battery in the gun. And the only reason, so when I showed you the battery, it's, it was not originally plugged in, and it's still not plugged in. And that is due to the reason that the gun is motion censored, so anytime there's movement, upon the gun or just in the room in general, it will pick that up uh, and the light will turn on. And here's what it looks like. I just really wish that this gun had an on or off button to it. Uh, this would be really nice for sneaking up on your friends. Just make sure that you do not shoot them in the head area because this could lead to eye damage or surgery on the eye, which is very bad. And you just gotta be careful when you're using this thing because it's got a lot of power, like I said and just always make sure you're wearing precaution glasses. All right guys, but seriously, if you're planning to play around with your friends and shoot each other with splat balls, it is extremely important to wear these goggles because these are the only things protecting your eyes from being hit. And if you lose your vision to a splat ball, you're gonna regret that for the rest of your life. So always wear these goggles when you're playing with friends. Now, here are the splat balls. They're basically Orbeez, and I like to keep them in my bathroom because there's a sink right here and they always need to stay hydrated in water. If they're not, they're gonna shrink and they're gonna start to smell bad after like six months. So it's important that you always switch the splat balls after six months or toss them if you haven't used them. The only feature that I dislike about this splat ball gun compared to the other features is the fact that this gun has this light up light and all you have to do is tap the table and the motion sensor uh, picks that up for you. So you can't really turn this off at all because it's not an on or off switch. And also, this will stand for about 30 seconds until it shuts off. All right, and then the last attribute to this gun is that it shoots at 11 splat balls per second, and it goes 200 feet per second. And here's what it sounds like. My parents are sleeping. Here's what the switch looks like. The X means that the gun is on safety and the three circles mean that the gun is on full auto. Always keep the gun on X when you're not using it. All right, guys, this is where our video is gonna end for the day. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, and you can find this Splatterball gun on Amazon, Walmart, and Splatterball, so those three websites for sure. It's going for around $110. It's called the SRB 1200. There are a couple other models, such as like the SRB 400, that's going for around $90. And then the SRB 375 is going for around $50. So if you wanna explore those options as well, thank you guys for watching today. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.